Hi, I'm Marius from MOS Photography and in this week's Photoshop tutorial we are going to have a look at an A1 canvas. Now the reason I'm showing you this is to show you the way that I have placed all the layers in this design and I'm trying to make it neat and tidy. The reason for that is the more stuff you put on your design the more layers you're going to have and if it's not in order and it's not neat and tidy it's going to be scattered all over the place and you're going to struggle to find where everything is. So if we look at my layers palette here, you'll see I've got um, some of the layers grouped, um, some of them just lying around here, and I'm going to break it down and show you each one of them individually. Now this is, this is a pretty large design. If you look here on the navigator, you'll see it's only 8% that we're seeing here. So if I zoom closer, this is 100%. So it's a pretty large file that we're going to be working with. Now if I start from the bottom, if we want to see only the bottom layer, I can hold down the Alt key and then just click on this eye right here. And you'll see it's only going to show me this layer and it's going to hide the rest. Now this white section right here, is this is the part that's going to be the printed section of the canvas. And this section right here, and you'll also notice I've got these borders right here, or not borders, um, guides I've got right here to show me where everything is on my layout. Now this section right here is the, the section which they're going to be stretching around the, 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 the block of the canvas. So the white section is the part that I'm going to be working on. The black, the second layer, this is the section they're going to be stretching around the block. Now this pattern I've got right here is from another designer and that's going to be, I've got it on a lower opacity you'll see right here. It's not at full strength, It's I want it to be slightly faded into the design. And then this is a layer I did not use. I wanted to put text in there. It's, I've still left it there in case I might have changed my mind later on, uh, but I didn't use it. And I've got text right here. Hopefully Google Translate did everything the way it should, that the grammar is not wrong. And then I'm going to start with the first frame right here. You'll notice I, I call it frames and finally just turned to image and then I didn't even rename them properly, but luckily everything is in the right folders. Now this is called a group. So if you want to add a group, for instance, if I click right here and I want to have a group just above this, you'll notice it's got a little icon right here in the bottom. If I click on it, it's going to create a group for me. Now I can put stuff in this group. Now the reason you would want to do that is, um, for instance, in this group, there are one, two, three, four layers and in the rest of them it's it's the same. Now imagine you've got 10 or 20 groups with like 10 layers in each. It's over 100 layers. So it's easier to have them grouped than have 100 layers running down here. So now within this, um, if we go here, I think it's this one right here. Um, let's just take them all away first. This is the image that I'm using for this section right here. And then I've also done some corrections. If I zoom, if I'm going to zoom closer, like say 300%, you'll notice small little marks on the skin. I've taken those little marks away, just cleaning it up nicely. And then if I zoom out, this layer right here, that is the frame. Also from another designer. I can't even properly draw a little stick man, so <laughs> I, I stick to photography. <laughs> So then I've got a layer adjustment right here, or levels adjustment, sorry. And you'll notice I've locked it to this icon right here. You can also look at a previous video. I think it's um, the video with working with selections and layers. I've explained how I did this, how I lock this section to this. Otherwise, if you just add the levels adjustment, it's going to apply to everything below it. So if I turn that on, you're going to see it just added the contrast that I needed to the frame to make it look really nice. I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to also turn on the second frame. I'm just going to take all the stuff away and we can also build it up. Now this one, um, I've also done some corrections on this one so if I'm going to zoom closer, for instance you'll see there's some material here and little marks on the skin and stuff that I wanted to fix. So I did that on this one right here. So if I turn this one on or if I turn it on and off, you'll see there's little few marks right there, and the material will be fixed when I click on that icon. So that's to fix that, and then it's also got um, the frame, and also the levels adjustment for the frame. Then, 
this is the third one same as previously there's also some corrections right here on this one I think there's some oh no no, no corrections on this one it's only the image it's the image and there's a frame so there's the image there's a frame and this is the contrast for the frame and then the next one was a trickier one because I had to cut out stuff there and also I had to put stuff into the image that I didn't have so you'll notice if I zoom closer to this image I'm just going to take all the layers away here so you'll notice there's a gap right there because that section well, the image was cropped off there so I was lacking that section and then I also have made a cutout in this section right here so if I do this you'll see there's the original section and if I zoom closer and I click on this again you'll notice it's nice and clean so I was I used feathering to feather to feather the edges on this so it doesn't look too harsh and fake all right now with the corrections there's also a bunch of corrections on this thing so I can't remember where exactly they were I think it's a bunch of like little pieces of hair on the fabric and stuff like that but now I had to put some extra dress in there so if I select this one you'll see there's the extra section and there's also a section where the the, the light that was shining on the background had spilled a little bit over on the cloth there or the material the fabric and it almost looks like something was deleted there so I had an extra layer that just cleaned up everything to make it look nice there and then there's the final layer this one right here um, I think this one has got no this one doesn't have any corrections as well it's only the image there's the image there's the frame and then also the contrast for the frame now when you save an image like this you save it as a JPEG your final product but you also keep your PSD file you go to file save as and then you save your final PSD you can see uh, um, Photoshop PSD you save the PSD file as well so that you can go back at a later stage and be able to open up all these layers to work on them again so that's that for this video and if you want to have a little bit more info on Photoshop you can go to my website at mwest.co.za and you'll see at the top I've got some YouTube videos that's also going to have some of my earlier Photoshop videos I've also got here an option that's called shop so if you select that you're going to get these titles right here that's, I've got a beginners and, and advanced one as well so if I select that you're going to get this page which has got more information on for instance the beginners one it's telling you exactly everything that you're going to learn it's a nice and detailed video showing you all the steps for a beginner to learn to properly use Photoshop it's also one for elements this is now the CS version there's a video clip that you can watch to show you exactly the quality of this product and you can also use the coupon code YouTube 25 which will give you 25 percent off this product just because you watched this video and you can just add it to cart, pay via PayPal or credit card and it's a direct download so the moment you've that you've done everything you can just download the entire set of videos from the website so see you in the next video bye